<laughs> time is it? Seven in the morning? Please be seven in the morning. I'm pretty sure it's a 24 hour clock. So let's get to work. Open up the shop. And then do we open up the shop first and then get stuff? Oh, wait. I gotta use the laptop. Uh, can I just like place it somewhere here and, and use it? No, I think I was supposed to keep that table for this reason. All right, well, whatever. We don't need to save. I'm not worried. I think we open up the shop nice and early, and then we can go to get more stuff, and it'll tell us what people like left because we didn't have. Oh, wait, my, st my store's back here. I'm heading to the other store. It's like gravity. It pulls me in. One of these alleyways right here. Which I guess I don't need... Oh God, <laughs> the brakes are so bad. I can't stop. Okay, I don't need to park in the garage. So I'm just gonna park right here. This is my alleyway. There's no other cars here anyways. Why is this back here? It should not be on the floor. Are we selling it? All right, I guess we open up the store. I got a nice scary, you want to fight guy too, but my guy looks tougher than the other guy. He'll kick the other guy's ass. My dad's tougher than yours. Oh, a customer. He bought tea. Nice. Do I set the price or is the price already set? You think you can handle this on your own, fella, while I go get some more goods? Oh, what are you going to buy? Toothpaste. Which flavor? Wait, who mixed up my flavors? <laughs> I had this all organized yellow and red and blue and red. And now I come in the next day and everything is just a mess. But look at that. My display still looks good. No and... I'm sorry, and what? And do we? No, and do we? Well, don't have no fear, customer. I will be right back with your and do we. Payments are deducted from bank account. Worker salary, 50 bucks. There's no way he's made 50 bucks yet. Cooking oil and and do we? That's what we need so far. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that the brakes are so bad and I just can't stop. Oh, diaper sold. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Looking for some Andouille. I don't even know what the hell Andouille is. You got some whiny people looking for cooking oil. And no, I'm not going to tell you who. You're not stealing my customers. Uh, Andouille is like some kind of meat, I think. And, uh... I cannot keep that. I do not have a fridge. Where's your cooking oil, pal? You don't have any? Oh, here it is. Wait, why is this? Why can't I get that? Cooking oil. Little one, big one. No, we'll just have the little one, I think, for now. Although we were trying to be the Costco. What am I doing? Paper towel, $180. Some bleach. Small thing of bleach. We don't have bleach. People might want bleach. It sounds like I should stop saying the word bleach. I don't think YouTube likes it. No cookies. This man came to my shop for cookies. Got cookies? <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, right here. Wheat biscuits. Is that the cookies? Or strawberry biscuits? I think those are the cookies. Well, we'll get a healthy option and a non-healthy option, I guess. 130? How much were these? 40. Wow. Cookies are expensive. Oh, oatmeal cookies. I can buy oatmeal cookies. Have yourself some oatmeal cookies, sir. There, oh God. Why did that box not want to go in any further? I don't know. And some drinks. People like drinks. Drinks are cheap. Now we filled it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now fit in the middle. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, I had it. Yes. <laughs> it's not easy. It's definitely not pretty. Close, close the door. Close the door. Okay, we're driving with the door open. Hold on, I have goods. Like cookies. Who wants cookies? Cola. No bleach. No, I have bleach. No. Son of a bleach. Wheat biscuits. I don't think anybody wants these, to be honest with you. The bleach, the bleach. I got it. I got it. You've all been waiting for it. It's finally here. And rice. Why did I buy rice? <laughs> oh, my display. People have destroyed it. How does this ladder work? Okay. <laughs> Fun fact, I think the ladder does maybe work, but you have to use it like the wrong way. I, I don't know. All right. 
let's see uh, what we got from the cashier today. $462. I don't know how late into the day we'll get customers, but I might try to go do a quick little, uh, a little run here. I don't know if our employee is just going to leave at some point soon. Just leave the store unattended. Let's hope not. It's about 8 o'clock. Hopefully this guy's store is still open. Time hasn't been moving though, so I'm not sure. I guess it just all of a sudden goes up an hour. I know at about 10 o'clock last time, I think the employee left. I can't stop. <laughs> I tried to break as soon as I entered the damn parking lot, I swear. Okay, okay. So we need cooking oil. For some reason, I apparently didn't buy this last time. I remember somebody did ask for peas and beans. Uh-oh. It's night, no customers will come now. Okay. Or maybe that's why you need a different vehicle. We could go check out the different vehicles, potentially. First things first, we're going to have to get some food on the way to the shop. And uh, we're also going to need a bath. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the stores are going to be open for me to get a bath. I need to go to the furniture store. We might have to do that tomorrow. Oh, I went the wrong way. Actually, no, I didn't. I think the furniture store is over here, so we could check that. I need a bathtub or a shower or something like that. Please be open. Oh, it looks open. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. All right. Hello. Uh, bathtub, please. Point me to your closest bathtub. Oh, there they are. Bathtubs. I was going to say, you guys have no bathtubs. 250. Yikes. I'm going to have to go eat two burgers. I can't see. I can't see. Oh. You are hungry, you can't run, okay. I could drive at least, that's all that matters. The store is probably just left open too. We're gonna be like, we're gonna come back to absolutely nothing. That actually happened to the grocery store near me the other day. They couldn't close their front doors. And <laughs> The one manager dude walked by me talking to an employee and was like, well, someone's gonna have to stay all night. And I was like, you're just gonna make some cashier defend the store. <laughs> oh, poor. Poor cashier. Pay electricity bills? Oh no, everything is falling apart. This is where being a business owner falls apart. I know, I know, I know, I know I need to take a bath. I know I need to do everything. Damn, these burgers look pretty good. That's a Burger King burger, 100%. <laughs> these are 100% Burger King burgers. I know Burger King, all right? These are Burger King burgers. How much for a pizza? $35. I'll take a pizza. Do I have to cook it or can I just eat it? I'm eating it. 54, okay. And then fries. Bye. I want, I want to wash it down with some Frenchies. All right. Now my hunger is at least somewhat better. I don't know if those French fries were the best bang for my buck. So we don't have electricity right now. But hear me out, all right? Times are tough. The economy... We lost our electricity, yes, but we have a flashlight. So like, what do we need electricity for? It's not like we have anything that runs off of electricity. A laptop, I won't be able to charge that, but I could just charge that at the store. Oh, we have a kitchen. We can actually make stuff. But see, this is fine. We don't need to be able to see to go to our bed and sleep and bathe in the dark. Place this bathtub. I can't really see. That works. All right. No longer dirty. No longer need to pee. I would have just peed in the bathtub to save time, but hey, what do I... <laughs> Where's tiredness? Do we even have tiredness? Can we just go all day, every day? Well, I'll sleep just in case, but... I'm thinking we can just go. Oh my god, I left the store open all night. Oh, okay, the employee closes up the shop at the end of the day. That's good news. All right, we're open for business. We got electricity at the shop. We don't need, I think, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we don't need electricity at the shop. How about that? Nobody move. <laughs> it could fall at any moment. No, the cooking oil, I have it. No. I got too into building my tower of chips. I forgot to put a little bit of this on the shelves. I have a little bit of everything else except for the oil. Who takes the middle one? Me, actually. I do that all the time. But what the hell? <laughs> Everyone knows you don't take the one at the front. That one's been fucked with by someone. So I paid the worker $50 a day. I need to put money in the bank, I believe. 
in order to pay the worker. Let's get our uh, money. $408. We need to go to the bank. Conveniently across the street. Nobody rob me. Nobody rob me. The hell? G.I. Joseph over here. <laughs> I love everyone's stance. Like, you want to go? Huh? Or you want to take out some money? See, the weird thing about the shelving is, is I feel like I can just put stuff on the ground and it'll still sell. But is there a penalty to that? I don't know. Will I attract more people if I have furniture? I don't know. A smartphone will help you manage your vehicles. Interesting. I didn't know smartphones could do that. I'm sorry. Was that? Did I just buy that food cart? What just happened? <laughs> I think I just paid $65 to buy this food cart. You work for me now, Sonny Jim. Or I paid $65 to eat from said food cart. Either way, I'm not sure about my purchase. What do you do? In here, Mr. Laptop Man. Why would I want to buy a laptop? I have one. In case you lose it, I guess. That's a terrible thing to lose. $450 later. $125 for a phone. Did I buy this thing for $65? Is it making me any money? Oh no, buy food for $65. Oh, okay. That's a $65 meal. I didn't know. I should have read before I clicked. That's my fault. What do I remember people complaining about today? Eggs. I do remember that. Some people were complaining that I didn't have fruits, but I mean, those people can kind of just screw off. Watermelons, $350. Whole. Those are apples? Wait, what? Are you sure? It looked red on the shelf. What happened? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, why would I want this though? What the hell are you going to carry on that? The truck is only $2,500. Not bad. The pickup is $1,500 and the scooter is $500. Again, I have no idea what the scooter is going to do for us. I'm not sure which pickup it is. Is it this little fucker? Okay, so this one we can drive. So that's the pickup truck. That's the truck. That's what we get when we win the game. And that's what we trade it in when we hit maturity. I'm just kidding. I want that car. The trading company. What do we got going on here? Hello? Wow, this place is huge. What do you guys do here besides try to fight people? Oh, you can buy stocks? This is the stonk market. No, I have apples. <laughs> no. Uh, no eggplant. You come to my store looking for sexually shaped products? How dare you? Why is that bottle so different than all the others? All right. Shop's closed. Everybody go home. Now I can restock in peace. Stalking in the flashlight, in the moonlight, something. We should probably really pay our electric bills. <laughs> nah, we fine, we fine. This place probably looks like it's getting robbed right now. I swear I work here. All right, how much money we make? Nice, another $410. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Where's all this light coming from? <laughs> it's so dark everywhere else, but right here is just... Ah, the moon. That's where. It all makes sense now. Gotta get to the store and open up. Damn employee's too stupid to do it himself. Oh, hydraulics kicked in. I'm kind of just like a little bit curious what happens if I... Where'd it go? Oh no! Where'd it go? Oh, that can't be good. Where did my car go? Um, we're gonna have to open up the shop. <laughs> I seem to have run out of car. Um, I, I, th I think I might have to buy a phone because that's how you manage your cars. And that's, I think, the only way I'm gonna get my car back unless I find where it flew to on the map. I think it went under the earth though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. Give me your finest smartphone, sir. <laughs> Not the expense I was expecting. Tow car to home, $500. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, all my hard work. My entire like cargo for the day too, gone. I have no idea where it went. Only one other place I could think is maybe when it completely bugs out like that. The car just returns home. If it's not home, then we're screwed. <laughs> There's no chance. Oh no. $500 to get the car back? 
$500. Let's see where the last load is. My car, you're okay. You're missing a box though. This is all the stuff I just bought, but one of the boxes <laughs> is missing. Well, you know, that's better than $500 loss. I'll take it. I'll take one of my boxes being gone. Only $121 today. What the hell have you been doing? Get your fat baboon frying oil. You'll be a fat baboon in no time. Hey, I bought the newspaper stand too. I don't know if any of you care, but we sell newspapers now. I think I'd earn myself a $65 meal. <laughs> Jeez, the most expensive freaking street meat you'll ever buy. But it clears you all the way back to zero, so clears your insides, and that's all that matters. We officially stock the world's most expensive biscuit. Get it while it's hot. I can't see. The lights just go out all of a sudden. <laughs> I opened the store. The employee's not here, but hopefully he shows up soon enough. Hopefully he shows up before the first customer. That's what I, that's my rule. Game is early access. Keep that in mind because some of the values in this game are way off. For example, um, food, way too expensive. $25 for a burger, yikes. Also, my gas is going down just about as fast as my oil and my mechanics, my maintenance needs. So what that tells me is I got a big gas tank apparently because <laughs> I've never seen a gas tank last as long as an oil change. Now I'm wondering, if I take a loan, do I have to pay interest? Because it didn't say what the interest was. So can I just take a loan and just pay it off? You probably won't be able to take a loan again once you have a loan out until you pay it off. So you probably got to be careful that you don't bankrupt yourself. <laughs> but other than that, I might be able to take out a thousand dollar loan and just get a couple shelves, bunch of inventory, just sit on that. Or maybe we get the fridge with the thousand dollar loan because we've been getting a lot of people wanting some goodies, but that could bankrupt us. No, because if we have a bit of money in the bank, thousand dollars, we can get the 750 fridge. All right. How much money did you make today? 217 so far. All right. That's, that's a better, better number at this point of the day. Proud of you, buddy. I'd like to take out a thousand dollar loan, please. It doesn't say anything about interest. It just says repay thousand dollar loan. This is the best bank ever. G.I. Joseph over there doesn't even know what he's guarding. He's guarding nothing. The bank can't be making any money. You guys should probably change your photos. You know, these guys did some controversial things <laughs> towards women. And people are mad about it, okay? If you haven't seen the tweet, it might be deleted. But basically, Burger King's marketing team thought it would be a good idea to uh, tweet out, Women belong in the kitchen. Just to be really abrasive and get attention. That was definitely the goal. They knew what they were doing. And then underneath, they say, if they want to, of course, you know, we're doing a scholarship and this and that, which is great, you know, scholarship, just the way they went about it, that might not be the most encouraging way. But it's some big brain marketing. That's what that is. And that was some big brain parking. Look at that. Am I in the spot? I'm in the spot, too. That's a big spot, though. <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. This is the uh, export company. You guys look a lot like the trading company. You sound a lot the same too. Buy financial stocks an exporting company for <laughs> fifty grand, and you drive a car that looks like this. Oh, never mind. It loaded in. Never mind. Your car looks fine, sir. False alarm. Don't worry about your car. Why are there so many cars here for one employee? Ah, that guy's car is broken. <laughs> I knew one of them was. I'm not going crazy. I really want to buy one of those can shelves because. uh I have a lot of cans and know where to put it, but I don't want to bankrupt myself, especially when we can't take out a loan now. We're in uncharted territory. So this is the 750 fridge, fridge one. So this is probably the cheapest fridge. Well, <clears throat> buying one of those. It's that easy. You misclick on one thing while you're looking at it and there goes all your money. $155 for ice cream. I probably should have read that before I just willy nilly clicked on it. But I have had lots of people request this, so hopefully they come back. Refrigerated stuff is expensive, but hopefully that means we'll be able to make our money back relatively quickly on that fridge and that loan. 500 for meat? All right. Time to place the fridge. Question is, where do we want it? I guess right here is looking pretty good spot. Is it plugged in? Is it turned on? Are we good? 
Sell for 350? What? Where do I buy some used stuff? I wanted to pay 350 instead of what I paid. By the way, I'm not sure if it's clear, but I am literally doing this all completely manually. <laughs> that is the one time consuming thing about this game is all of the stocking is done by me, but I do a pretty good job. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap in the pizza. I think that's because someone bought one though. All right, that's not my fault. Not my fault, people don't buy things in order. They do it all willy nilly. This ladder also is permanently here. Can't move it. Well, you can move it, but it'll come back here every time. We have to start making like lists of what we're running out of here. But I'm also gonna just have to sit on a lot of this stuff until it sells because I'm running low on money. Hey, $505, you've been busy over here. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can go stock up on some more stuff. The working day is never over. I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> At least three days. So I can put it on the roof. Can I drive? Looks like I can. <laughs> okay, ever wonder what $500 worth of <laughs> goods looks like in a station wagon? <laughs> well, now you know. Mm, that's too close. I'm not messing with that. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Damn. I'm surprised this all fit in here. Color me impressed. Freedom Burgers. Best kind of burger a man could get. Freedom. Freedom from your family. Freedom from your wife. Freedom from all responsibilities. A free hall pass for the weekend with the boys. Cause you know there's gonna be strippers. Freedom Burgers. It's yours today. Look at that fridge. Now that's how you make use of a fridge right there. Carrot jam. That sounds disgusting. What the heck? Why would this man sell me a bunch of carrot jam? He knows I ain't going to be able to sell that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I gotta go. I gotta go to the washroom. I gotta, I gotta go. Okay, hold on. Let me get the, let me get the money. And then I gotta go. I really gotta go. Oh boy, I gotta go. What the? What the heck is this? Rotten products. Okay. Oh, we're going to piss ourselves. This isn't good. We're about to find out what happens when you get to 100 urine. I just keep looking down to check. It hasn't happened yet, has it? <laughs> Do I die? <laughs> oh, there it is, 100. All right, I keep getting complaints about yogurt. I don't know what's so good about this yogurt, but it doesn't even go in the fridge, apparently. It's time for some off-road. Oh, shoot, I really need to eat, too. Um, That's all right. We're taking a shortcut anyway. Oh, okay. Well, apparently off-road has invisible walls. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those. They're doozies. Of course, the shelf I want is at the back of the store and I can't run. <laughs> I'm running out of room, damn it. There's too many cans. So the solution? Can shelf. Can a shelf solve all your problems? Can shelf. Get yours today. I need my street meat man. Come here, street meat man. Save me. Please. I'm going to pass out at any moment. Oh, did you buy that oil from us? Thank you for supporting me. The uh, greatest shop in all the world. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, best street meat in town. I guess it fits nicely right there. Look at that. Would you look at it? Should be able to take our canned goodies and squeeze them in here it's gonna be kind of annoying to transfer it all but it'll work better in the future when we purchase new stuff <laughs> my wall of watermelons <laughs> kind of like a game within the game just stacking it's like a little bit of a uh, tetris combined with um you know making a house of cards maybe <laughs> although it can't fall to my knowledge so Filling up our new shelf, slowly but surely. We got tuna, toothpaste, cans of sauce, like hot sauce, I believe. They float, too. They don't sit on the bottom. It's weird. Some dog food. That take up a lot of room. Dog food takes up a lot of room on this shelf. And then we got jam. Still some cans over here, but I just don't want to carry them all over one by one. It's very annoying. Almost forgot to open the shop. How are we supposed to make any money? Come on, big sale, big sale, big sale, big sale. 13 or more, 13 or more. Yes, burger. Thank you. 
I can now pay my employee. Oh no. <laughs> Worker salary and loan payment. Oh, we gotta pay a hundred dollars a day? But we're we're in debt. We're officially in debt. Sound the alarm. At least the bank covers my employee's wage. That's good. Good to know. I didn't know we were paying $50 at a time back on the loan. Or is that $50 a day every day that it takes us to pay the loan? That could add up. Does it say how much we have left on the loan or is it just charging us $50 a day until we pay back the loan? Okay, 900. So we've paid back 100 of the loan. Good. No interest. That's the way I remembered it. So if there's anything you want to see, you want to see the truck, pickup truck, or the big boy crate truck, let me know. We can we can grind our way there. As far as everything else goes, I think we've pretty much seen it all. You know, I can deck out the store, lots of shelves, lots of goodies. And then uh, other than that, we can only really buy the uh, buy some stocks, I guess. It looks like there's actually a pharmacy down the road here. What's... What's we got? What's we got over here? Can we buy stuff from the pharmacy to sell, or what's what's the pharmacy? Here it is, pharmacy. What's up? What do you treat yourself for a hundred dollars? What? Why would I do that? What does treating myself in, entail? Weird.